next game on the board here. We have got Oklahoma. Another 3.30 p.m. Eastern time game. Oklahoma heads to Kansas State. Kansas State, a 10.5 point dog. Total of 52.5. Use offense is not explosive at all. Just at all. A metric that I brought up, I think, to you last week with Spencer Rattler. Man, he was... He was terrible. He has been terrible all year. Uh, Up until this last game, he only had three passes completed over 20 yards down the field, and he had three turnover-worthy throws in that same same metric. I mean, just just awful. Kansas State has covered three of the last four, including winning and covering the last two uh, outright. Uh, Skylar Thompson might be back. I I don't know that it necessarily matters. I I don't think... I don't think Skyler's coming back, man. I, don't, I might I don't be wrong. So. I hope he does. I mean, they, they've talked about it, and that's the only reason why I even bring it up. I don't think it matters who the quarterback is. I think this offense continues to run regardless of who it is, and it's not the offense. I think it's the defense for Kansas State that can actually slow down Oklahoma and, and make this a, a a just a slugfest, right? This will just be played in yeah. the in the teens, maybe in the, the lower 20s. If it's in the lower 20s or in the teens, like 10.5 is just way too much. I'm going to take Kansas State. Thank you. And so, yep, I'm with you, man. I love this Kansas State team. I undervalued them and underestimated them before the season started. I was wrong for that. I think they're far better than I thought they were originally. They are tough. You just talked about it. They're tough on the defensive side of the football. And what Skylar Thompson was able to do was was pretty pretty good. You know, I mean, good good enough to get Stanford or uh, Kansas State some wins. Not not just not just be competitive, and and when he went out in that um, Oklahoma State game, you know that game was tight the whole way through, and then as soon as he goes down, everything changes, and then Oklahoma State kind of takes over. Well, that, um, that was that was Will that, Howard in the uh, in the Oklahoma State game. Skylar Thompson went out the week before that, but yes, it's oh, the yeah, same, yeah. Well, same. I'm thing. sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. but yeah, my brain, yeah, but like yeah, <laughs> it's just this this defense. They were doing fine, and then they, they give up a couple of big plays because on the field so much because the offense isn't doing a lot. Yeah. But that's what I'm getting at. That, 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 towards the end of the game, you start giving up chunk plays. You start giving up big plays because the offense can't stay on the field to give you defense time to rest. This defense can find any time to rest at all. At all. They can do it on drives, which everybody's been able to go on drives against Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma State's defense is far superior than Oklahoma's from what I've seen so far. I, I, think, I, I think they can just – Sustain some drives and kick some field goals, and you can cover a big number like this. And the all. same, the same way that Adrian Martinez was able to have some success against Oklahoma's defense, I think yes. Deuce Vaughn will be able to do the exact same thing. Kansas State does have a playmaker there, and so long as so long as they can get him the ball, I, I think he's going to make some stuff happen. I, I would feel so, and I'm telling you, if Skyler shows up for this game, I'm going. I'm just, and that's just like a, an emotional thing, right? Like I just, I've seen him do it. I've seen him lead this team you know, this season so far, and they've impressed me. Because I, I didn't have a lot of expectations for them at all. I thought they were going to be bad flat out. Oh, yeah. And, and the fact that, that he was he was pretty good and, and, and showed some signs of being able to be competent and move this offense and be, you know, capable of doing some stuff. If, if, if I can see him on the field, I'll just feel better about it. No, I, I tend to agree with you. 10 degrees. So we're both taking Kansas State plus the 10 and a half. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.